Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be doing a spoiler-free review of The Rose Code by Kate Quinn. And this is her newest historical fiction novel that has come out recently. So basically the premise of this story is that we follow three women who are recruited to work at Bletchley Park, I think that's how you pronounce it, which was a kind of code-breaking site that was used by the English um, to kind of decipher the German and Italian code and it was very crucial to the war effort it provided a lot of information in terms of understanding um, kind of when air raids were going to happen and then also it was critical in making sure that the germans weren't aware of the invasion of normandy so it's very interesting and so we follow three different women like i said so we follow one who is an actual like code breaker one is a translator and the other one that kind of works on the machines and just their stories together so this as always with kate quinn is that we do get a kind of dual storyline we kind of see them a couple years after the war they have a falling out um in particular osla and mabel really hate each other and we don't know why and then Beth ends up in an insane asylum and something is going on so Beth sends a letter to Osla and Maeve saying that there was a traitor at BP which was like the place that they worked and they owe it to her to help her kind of explain the truth and kind of get her out of the insane asylum so it kind of goes off from there but I really love this one I think I've always loved Kate Quinn's books like especially like Owls Knockwood and the Hunters are just really amazing historical fictions and what I always like too is that there is a character crossover from like the books so there's characters connected um, within these different kind of storylines which I really enjoy but this one was really interesting I think if you I if you're familiar with the imitation game it is kind of basically what these people were doing and these kind of ordinary women who before then weren't like women weren't encouraged to work like they actually had like a purpose they were able to kind of do something substantial which I think really this book does a really good job of kind of showing that and how crucial this role was not only for the war effort but also giving these women kind of an equal opportunity to be you know contribute to the war effort which I really enjoy and I think especially because you kind of weave in and out of the past and present day storylines you're really intrigued as to what happened what led to the falling out how did Beth end up in this insane asylum like how did it all happen and you're just really sucked in and I think the interweaving of the different storylines is done very flawlessly I didn't feel like it was very much kind of stopping it wasn't abrupt kind of switching between the, the different narratives and following the different girls and their perspectives I like like I said I'm a huge fan of Kate Quinn so I really loved it and I think like especially like every Kate, Kate, Kate Quinn book ends on like a huge kind of climax and it's like it builds up and then it gets like all heck breaks loose brace basically at the end and it's just so intense and I finished this relatively quickly it's over 600 pages and I finished it within like five days so I was literally hooked like it's just a lot of fun and she has a really good way of kind of making these characters distinct and showing their different personalities and how what they're doing meant to them for their war efforts and kind of their own personal struggles as well which I really enjoyed like throughout we follow them basically throughout the whole course of the war and you can see so much growth and development not only in their like code breaking and their <clears throat> excuse me their contribution to the war effort but also their personalities as well and I really like one of my favorite things too is that she does kind of base these characters um, on people that were actually kind of there so the character of Osla was actually inspired by another woman named Osla who was actually Prince Philip's girlfriend during the war but she that's basically kind of where the similarities end but it kind of is a fictionalized uh, version of that character and obviously there's some things added to kind of create drama um, and all that but I like how this is kind of it's a fictionalized story based on kind of 
women's stories at this time. And I think that makes it really interesting and fun and just really kind of shows like the unspoken kind of heroes of the war. I think we always are told the kind of male perspective and how it was like the men were off fighting and it but really there was also women that were contributing to this war effort as well which I think is just really interesting and it's really well done and I really again Kate Quinn always does a good job with this my only complaint is that I did feel like the middle half of the book was just slightly too long but I think like everything that was leading up ultimately to that big climax at the end was necessary so I can't really complain too much about it but other than that like this was a solid five out of five star read all of Kate Quinn's book actually have been five out of five stars I think she does a really good job at connecting the readers to these characters and you get to kind of see them and then you're also kind of intrigued with the mystery and how like who could be the traitor who like what led to the fallout of these girls that were so tight for so long like what happened and you're just really intrigued and you get to kind of slowly you kind of see the pieces of the puzzle go together and I think she does a tremendous job doing that that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this quick review let me know in the comments below if you've read this book and what you thought about it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye guys